In this video, we're going to talk about uploading and managing videos in Panopto with Canvas. Uh, now, Panopto is a great screen uh, screen sharing, screen capture utility, uh, but you also have the ability to take videos you may already have and upload them in Canvas. Uh, for instance, I have a class that I did a Zoom session in. And so if we look online, right here is one of the recordings of a Zoom session. Now you can see here down at the bottom, this is only a two second clip. Uh, not really a whole lot happening in this. Uh, it was actually an, an accident to download or to set up. But let's say I, this, this was a valid class and I want to go ahead and download it and import that into Canvas. What I can do is up here in the upper right hand corner, I have a download link. If I click the download link, it will go ahead and download an MP4 file and it tries to download something else. Uh, and M4A. So one with video, one with audio. Now that I've downloaded these files, I can go ahead and upload these into Canvas. I'm going to come back to my Canvas section here and I'm going to go into Panopto. And this time I'm going to say create. And instead of record a session, I'm going to say upload. Come over to my downloads folder. Uh, looks like it was this guy right here. That really, really short one. Uh, what I'm going to do is just going to drag and drop right into the canvas or right into the window there. Uh, when it's done, upload complete. You can close this window and it will take a few seconds process so uploading really is that simple if you've already saved the file via some other recording medium uh, or download it from zoom you can go ahead and upload it directly uh, next item editing well let's say we need to edit these videos uh, let's see the longest one i have i think is this guy right here it's four minutes uh, you can see as i hover my mouse over it i have a nice little edit button i'm going to go ahead and click edit and this opens up the Panopto editor. So we can actually come in here and we can start cutting. So I just highlight with my mouse a section and I believe I click cut. And then, wrong, try that. Cut. Somehow in here, you cut out the video in order to stop it or to remove it from being from the video. Uh, you can also add content. So let's say you have other clips, uh, multiple clips that you want to put together. You can put them in there. You can add in some YouTube videos, web pages. Uh, you may need to get some little help as far as how to edit the cells. Uh, you will notice that there are some captions over here on the left hand side and the captioning can happen automatically. You may have to come up here and say um, uh, 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 include automatic captions and that's what's going on here. Uh, we can go ahead and then edit these if we need to change something. Uh, so for instance, maybe this word was not speech. Maybe it was beach. There we go. So I went ahead and edited that. Uh, I will want to click apply when I'm done here so it will actually apply the changes. Oh. Uh, do I want to close the editor? No, I want to stay in. Uh, let's see. Actually, let's go back. So with that, there are also some reporting capabilities with this systems. Uh, if we come in here and we look at these guys, there are a, there is a stats button. So when I click stats, that's interesting. I wonder if that's my pop-up blocker. Try that one more time. There we go. Uh, it will give me statistics of who has viewed this file and who hasn't. Uh, apparently nobody has viewed this file. So let's try another one. Oh, there we go. So the entire class, uh, I can see number of views, number of unique viewers, and then minutes of video delivered. And I can also download this information. So if I click the little download link here, 
it will open up into a CSV file. And I can report on which user, a test student right here, has gone ahead and viewed four different videos for a minute and 24 seconds. Uh, and then when I actually view a the information for a specific video, specific video that I know has been watched, this guy right here, Uh, views, minutes delivered, and then percent complete. Again, you can download this as well. Uh, Alan was suggesting, go ahead and grade people on percent complete. Uh, this test student has only viewed 99% of this video, therefore should only get 99. Hmm, who knows? And then lastly, for managing the videos. So every time you create a class in here, you create a uh, essentially a permission set. Uh, so right here, this is summer 2017 practice. Everybody who's in the summer 2017 practice class can view the videos in the summer 2017 practice folder. And so what I could do is I can actually come in here and I can start choosing other folders and different people have different access to the different folders. So for instance, for this 2017 class, if I tried to give it a 2019 video, they would not have access to it. Ah, so you may have to be a little careful. There are ways to move these around. Let's see. Things. Folder, there we go. So we can actually move this to a different folder uh, if I need it to be in another folder, as well as you can copy it into a new, new directory uh, for a new class. But there you go. So that is uploading and managing videos. So uploading videos, piece of cake, just a matter of downloading it to begin with. Um, editing the videos, not quite as piece of cake, but still fairly simple. Uh, managing it and doing or managing perf uh, reporting for the performance for the